President Lincoln called the United States a government of the people, by the people, for the people. A government for the people should represent the people, shouldn't it? Does it really represent the United States people, though? The average age in the U.S. is about 38 years old. How old does Dixon think Congress is? I'm gonna say, like, 60s. The average age of the House of Representatives probably if I had to guess, and I don't know this, is probably like 68. I want to once again say 60. 68. The average age of the House of Representatives is 57 years old. Meanwhile, the average age of the Senate is 64 years old. That's a 19 and 26 year old difference compared to the population. Yes, I do. Why? Um, I feel like if you have not been through what I've been through, you are not going to care about stuff that I care about. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's very difficult for a man to kind of yeah. feel what I feel yeah. or someone who is not a Hispanic person yeah. to go through stuff that I have felt. I'm yeah. not saying that they all need to represent me because we have a very diverse country, so mm -hmm. I think that there needs to be a variety of different type of people, different yeah. type of ages. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I do think it's yes. It, you mean age-wise, or just they need to represent their voters? Yeah, they definitely need to represent what their constituents want. Um, yes. Well, that on paper is why they got elected. You know, I go to a poll, I vote for somebody who I think. I would, I was going to do what, what I would like, right? But, um, and if that is not the case, I have the opportunity two, six, four years later to not vote for them and vote for someone else that will represent me. So I, I, th I think it's important that, especially, you know, the House is supposed to be more representative of the nation because it has more people in it. Um, so I think that those people who we elect to serve us should respond to our uh, wants and needs. And if they don't, then we have the opportunity to not vote for them, right? Uh, we, we can't recall them, but we, we don't have to elect them again. As far as age goes, um, Again, the reason why the average age is what it is, is because we put them there. So, um, like having an age requirement, I think it is probably good to have a minimum age. I mean, I don't think we want a 14 year old, right? But as a minimum age, but as far as the discussion of a maximum age, um, in the case of elected officials, they're there because we put them there. Supreme Court, federal judges, that's completely different. We didn't put them there. But elected officials are there because we put them there. So if we don't like their age, we don't have to put them there. It's important to have a government that accurately represents their constituents and makes legislative decisions in favor of their interests. But what can we do? Registering to vote, staying informed, encouraging your friends and family to vote, and voting yourself are the best way to make changes in our government.